be strong. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Stony Creek School of Arts YouTube channel. Today we're going to be drawing a cup of hot chocolate with some really cute cartoony marshmallows. So I know the weather's getting kind of nicer. It's nice and bright today. It's sunny. Uh, a lot of people are out walking their dogs. It might not seem like the time of year where you would want a cup of hot chocolate, but the nighttime does seem to get a lot cooler and I just thought we could make it look really funny and really cartoony. So let's get started. So grab your pencil. The first thing we're gonna do is start with an oval. So this is going to be the opening, the top portion of the cup where you would pour your hot chocolate. So again, I put my pinky knuckle on the table and just with my arm motion, go in that oval shape and then slowly bring my pencil down. Just like that so you'll notice you'll get some sketchy lines and that's okay because we'll just erase those guys after okay so now we're gonna do two lines straight down you can use a ruler you can eyeball it it's up to you and then on the bottom side we don't want it to just be flat across because we already have some perspective of looking inside of the cup, we want to carry that down to the bottom. So this curve that we have right here, we want to mimic it down here. So now you could just draw that curve, but I like to put that oval in the bottom. So we're creating a, a cylinder. So what you're seeing is the opening and then the bottom of your cup. So with your eraser, now that you have that oval shape, we want to erase this top part because this is the part that we you can't see through the cup. Unless your cup was see-through, if it was just like a glass clear mug, you would see that. Okay, so perfect. So we have that curve on the bottom, our straight sides, the curve for the opening. Now let's add the handle. So I'm gonna add the handle on this side. You could do it on this side, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna do a curve and then another curve inside. So I want it to be a little flared up here, same here. Where it attaches to the bottom, you could kind of curve it out so it looks like it's joined and not just a donut stuck to the side of your cup. Okay, perfect. We're gonna keep this line in for now, but when it comes to outlining with our marker, we're kind of gonna do it dashed like that. So you would, lose this part. So I'll just erase that on mine just so you can remember that as well. Okay, great. So next we're gonna add the lip of the cup. So I'm just gonna make a smaller outline around. So it just gives it di some dimension that the mug has some thickness. And then I'm going to do another curve just on the back side of the mug like that. So this is the liquid, so the hot chocolate. Now that we're so good at making cylinders because we just made the cylinder for the uh, mug, we're gonna do the same for the marshmallow shapes. So I'm gonna do an oval a little line and a little line. Now I don't need to worry about the bottom end of the marshmallow because it's in the hot chocolate. So what I'm gonna just do is kind of do a squiggly wavy little line on the bottom and then kind of like some curves around to show that it's in the water. Great, so now I'm gonna make another guy maybe here 
maybe sticking out just a little bit more and the curvy lines now with this because it's overlapping our mug we want to take our eraser and erase anything that's inside of that marshmallow perfect and I'm gonna do another guy similar to this one I like how he's tall I'm gonna be able to do a nice face on him on that side the curve and then some little curves in the hot chocolate and then you would erase anything that's inside of your marshmallow awesome okay so now we get to have fun and add the faces so i'm just gonna do really simple eyes like that a little smile oh my goodness it's so cute I wonder if they would be mad that they're in the hot chocolate or if they'd be really excited. I'm gonna give this guy an open smile. And then this guy, he doesn't like it. So I'm gonna give him some eyes where his eyes are closed and like a little frown. <laughs> okay, now you could leave it like that, but I'm gonna do one step further, bump it up a little bit and add a face to my mug. So I'm going to do two circles and instead of the eyes kind of pointing forward, I think my eyes are going to be looking at the marshmallows and I'm going to give him, I think an open mouth as well, like a really big smile and a tongue. So the letter M and he's going to have two teeth just because I think that would be really funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and some little cheeks. Perfect. So we can add some steam marks to show that our hot chocolate is really steamy. So I'm gonna do some nice swirls like that. Oh my goodness, this looks awesome so far. Okay, so now I'm happy with my drawing. Um, if you wanna add a little table, you're gonna put it behind, oh, I don't know if that's straight. Put it behind the cup. If you put the table right here, it will look like your cup is sitting on the very edge of the table, almost falling off. So you wanna make sure that he's looking like he's on the table. We can even, push it back a little bit further even. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to use my black marker to trace my drawing, then I'm gonna use my eraser to erase. So we always trace, then we erase, and then I'm gonna color and I'll see you back.
here's your picture of your adorable cartoon mug with three cartoon marshmallows in delicious hot chocolate. I hope you enjoyed today's drawing. Tag us on Instagram, Stony Creek School of Art. Visit us on there to see what our kids are up to, some past projects, what we're doing next. I hope you guys are doing well and until next time, we'll see you then. Bye.